Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to dive into the topic of calorie restriction and its interesting impact on slowing down the aging process. In this video, I'll talk about an interesting way that each of us can use to resist the passage of time. Calorie restriction has been a very popular health topic for over two decades. Today, we'll look at some of the most groundbreaking studies conducted on humans. So sit back and enjoy this exciting journey. Before we dive into the details, let's start by understanding what calorie restriction really means. This revolutionary eating style allows you to feel younger and live longer without risking deficiencies in essential nutrients. By reducing calorie intake by 20 to 40% compared to a regular diet, calorie restriction has shown incredible health benefits in both animal and human studies. In the late 1940s, one of the pioneers, a scientist named Ansel Keys, conducted groundbreaking research to investigate the impact of calorie reduction on human health. In one study, 32 lean men were advised to reduce their calorie intake by 40%. The results were quite surprising. Their heart rate, body temperature, and blood pressure decreased. Unfortunately, the diet they followed at the time was of poor quality and had negative psychological effects. Despite this, Keyes continued his work and through his epidemiological studies, established a relationship between low calorie intake, lower cholesterol levels in the blood, and reduced incidence of heart attacks. About 50 years later, things started to get really interesting. A scientific study was conducted that changed our approach to both the aging process and nutrition. It all began in the early 1990s when a group of four adult women and four adult men participated in an experiment conducted in Biosphere 2, a closed ecological space located in the United States. Eight crew members, including the study's authors, Roy Walford and Tabor McCallum, were locked up in the Biosphere 2 for two years. During the 24-month experiment, they spent 21 months on a low-calorie diet, consuming between 1,750 and 2,200 calories per day. The diet was rich in nutrients and consisted of vegetables, fruits, nuts, grains, legumes, and a small amount of dairy, eggs, and meat. About 12% of their calories came from protein, 11% from fat, and 77% from complex carbohydrates. This groundbreaking study showed that the participants experienced a 20% weight loss, a decrease in cholesterol levels, a decrease in blood sugar levels, and a decrease in blood pressure. All of these factors are important criteria for assessing the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. In addition, as you can read in their scientific paper, despite calorie restriction and significant weight loss, all crew members remained in excellent health and maintained a high level of physical and mental activity during the entire experiment. The result of the research was the emergence of the concept of calorie restriction as a way to live, or more precisely, to live longer. The topic attracted general public attention, and it wasn't long before a group called Calorie Restriction Society became popular, a community that discovered the key to better health and prolonged life through a unique way of eating. A team of researchers became interested in their lifestyle and conducted a study on 18 members of this community. They compared their results with the results of 18 people of the same age, but who had been eating a typical American diet style. Their discovery was truly remarkable. Calorie Restriction Society members were leaner, had lower total cholesterol, triglycerides, blood pressure, so-called bad cholesterol, fasting insulin, and glucose. Again, these are criteria that are used in the context of assessing the risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. But it is not the end of the story. The researchers also found that members of the Calorie Restriction Society had significantly lower levels of inflammation in their bodies. Inflammation is commonly associated with many chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease. 
This discovery led researchers to believe that members of the calorie-restricted community may have really found the key to a longer and certainly healthier life. Who knows, maybe the fountain of youth known from legends has been hidden in front of our noses all along. As we all know, many people would like to live in a world where they can stay young forever. Although it may be impossible to completely stop the aging process, we can try to slow it down a bit. Unfortunately, one of the ways to do this is by restricting calorie intake. Let's be honest, this method is not the easiest, and certainly not the most enjoyable. Fortunately for us there are alternative methods that can provide similar benefits and are a little more accessible to common people. One of these alternatives is to eat only every other day. This method involves setting yourself days on which you eat and days on which you fast. While this can be difficult, especially at the very beginning, this way of eating has been shown to benefit weight control, improve insulin sensitivity and slow age-related changes. Another alternative is calorie restriction mimetics, which are substances that induce reactions in the body similar to those caused by calorie restriction itself. Such caloric restriction mimetics include resveratrol, drugs that inhibit glycolysis, and drugs that increase the body's sensitivity to insulin. Interestingly, these substances show great potential in the context of life extension and achieve the same, and often even better effects than calorie restriction alone. The topic of life extending agents is another extremely interesting discussion, but it's a topic for an entire single video, so if you're interested and would like to hear about it, let me know in the comments. Moving forward, if you want to extend your life, you can also make other, less radical changes to your lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy weight, avoiding smoking and eating a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and fish can help slow down the aging process. Physical activity itself is also key here. Moderate levels of physical activity during adulthood can extend life expectancy by one and a half to three and a half years, in both men and women. Exercise not only extends life, but also improves mental health, reduces the risk of chronic diseases and increases overall quality of life. A good example would be the Framingham Heart Study, which found that men and women who engaged in moderate physical activity at age 50 lived almost two and a half years longer than those with sedentary lifestyles. In contrast, high physical activity extended life by up to four years. Still, let's remember that it's not just about extending life itself, but about making sure that the years we live are full of fulfilling experiences. A healthy lifestyle is what can help us do both, including reducing the risk of chronic diseases, improving mental health and increasing overall quality of life. You can see for yourself that there is nothing to wait for but to gradually make positive changes in our lives. Even seemingly small changes can make a powerful difference in the long run. Be sure to let us know in the comments what do you think about the concept of calorie restriction. If you enjoyed the video it will be my pleasure if you will hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.